Yo, Chub Squad, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing off the brand new Reggie Drago V Star in action. Reggie Drago V Star, I think, is a fantastic new card. It's got a very good attack, allowing you to copy any Dragon Pokemon's attack from your discard pile. You don't need the energy required to use those attack costs, and that is just what makes it good. There's so many Pokemon to choose from, like Gudra, Giratina, Duraludon, Flygon. A lot of Pokemon to choose from. I think uh, Reggie Drago has a lot of potential in the format, and I am here to show off my list that I've been working with for my Reggie Drago deck. And if y'all are going to go on to enjoy the video and want to show your support on the Shovel Squad, make sure to leave a like on the video and also subscribe down below so you never miss an upload here on the channel. Check out all the sponsors down below, like Atlas Collectibles. If you get anything in Atlas, use the discount code TSS12 to save yourself 12% on your purchase. Also, you can check out Pokex Word down below. Complete their daily puzzles. It's a great brain exercise. It's a nice thing to do. It's fun, and uh, you definitely want to try out Pokex Word. But uh, let's go scope out my Reggie Drago list. So here is my Reggie Drago V Star list that I've been working with. I am using the Battle VIP Leafeon engine and experimenting with it. The idea of the deck is if you get a turn one Drago and a turn one Leafeon and you go first, you can attach an energy, greening cells to your Reggie Drago, get two energy on it, and building it up very quick. And then, of course, with an attachment fire energy for turn or whatever, you can build up a Drago in just two turns, basically, thanks to Leafeon and attaching energy. And then you can use Apex Dragon to copy any Dragon Pokemon you discard pile, like Dragonite, to build up another Reggie Drago. Of course, we have Gardenia's bigger which allows us to also build up another drago on the bench these are all the dragon pokemon i've chosen to copy the main one is gudra as you can see i'm playing two of it gudra is one of the most important cards within the deck allowing you to do 200 damage and then take 80 less damage during your next turn it is very very powerful um very good against single prize decks very good against loss zone very good against almost anything to be honest there is i don't think there's a single matchup where gudra is bad in that's how good this card is in this deck. Gudra is one of the, if not the best card in the deck, apart from your Drago, of course. So we are playing two of them because it is very relevant to have them in the deck. Everything else is kind of just extra things for certain scenarios. Duraludon, Shred Attack, very good against decks that have annoying abilities that wall you, like Vulpix, Miltank. Also, Duraludon works against Gudra. If you're playing against another Gudra deck, you can actually do 220 damage to Gudra with Duraludon. Duraludon goes right through Rolling Iron, so you can just go Duraludon in a Gudra matchup and just shred the Gudra, basically, um, which is really good. Dragonite allows you to build up another Drago on the bench. Very nice against a VMAX decks where you try to set up Flygon. Flygon's got Draconic Impulse. That's 160. If your opponent's active as a VMAX, you do 160 more damage, 320 in total. Of course, you're playing against any of the big VMAXs like Curum or Mew. Uh, you just one-shot them, and you play a choice spell, you can one-shot them, and it's pretty nice to have. Flygon is very good in this deck. You do the discard three energy, and that's one of the things that turned me off of playing Flygon originally. I'm like, we have to get rid of the energy, but it's just nice to have in general because it allows you to play aggressive in those matchups. And with Dragonite and Gardenia, you can try to build up multiple Reggie Dragos to kind of have another one in the background for after you go for your first Flygon. Uh, Giratina, Lost Impact is also good. 280 damage, great way to knock out a V-Star Pokemon in one hit. Uh, very nice to have. We're not playing Giratina V, even though we could because we do play... The, like, we, we don't need it because we, we already have Shred. Um, and we got Appleton. Thick Mucus, 70 damage, free special energy on your opponent's Pokemon. This card is insane against Lugia V-Star. It's one of the best attackers in the Lugia matchup. Lugia is beatable with Gudra. Gudra is also good against Lugia, but Appleton just one-shots, which is just kind of mental. Um, and we got, you know, your other things. Flygon. Or not, sorry. Uh, Luminion, Crobat, Greninja. Greninja is a debatable replacement. You, could do, you can cut this and add in Gardevoir. You could add in Charizard also. Those are the other two radiants you could play. I like Greninja. It's extra draw in the deck, though. So it's definitely a, a, yeah, it's a card you could tweak around with. If you cut the Greninja for Charizard or Gardevoir, you could, instead of playing Training Core, you could actually play um, you could play Temple of Sinnoh or Collapse Stadium. Collapse Stadium might also be good in this deck to get rid of, like, Flygons and Leafeons on your bench. I'm not playing the Leafeon V-Star. I've decided to cut it. Um, so I'm not playing that anymore, and that's why you could maybe add, uh, Clap Stadium in the deck if you want. Supporter count, we got one boss, three Serena, three Research, two Gardenia. The Research Serena are very good, as we need them to discard Dragon Pokemon from our hand and use them for Reggie Drago. Of course, we have Legacy Star, which is also good, allowing you to discard the top seven cards of your deck. You put two of them in your hand, uh, put two cards from your discard in your hand. Not just the cards you discarded, but any card in general, which is just kind of insane. And then we just play 13 energy, 9 grass, 4 fires to round up the list. Also, maybe you want to play a big Parasol in the deck. It's another card I thought of playing. Let's go show off Reggie Drago and see how good it is. Because I'm telling you, man, this card is actually pretty good. All right, looks like we are going to go first with Reggie Drago here. We will try it out and see how it does for us. We open up with Reggie Drago. No Leafeon, though. No Battle VIP. No Quick Ball. 
Not the hand we wanted to see here. Thankfully, we are going first. We do get to see an extra card, which is nice, but we got nothing. So, unfortunately, no Reggie Drago turn two because, unfortunately, we just weren't able to find a Leafeon. We had four Battle VIPs, four Quicks, four Ultras. It's kind of depressing. We had, what, 16 outs? Or 12 outs, sorry, to a, to a Le Well, actually, we had 14 outs to Leafeon because we also had Leafeon itself. We're up against Waylord here. Oh, my God. That's fine. We can be Waylord. We can just attack with Gudra. I think Gudra carries us here. Waylord doesn't do a lot. It's 240. Actually, does a lot of damage. Right, they do Marnie me, which is fine. The hand was honestly kind of a mediocre hand anyways. I'm not really worried about that. That's a lot better. We'll see what they're able to do here. Again, I mean, Whalemer, Whalelord's a little tanky, but it shouldn't be too bad. We'll quick ball here. It's going to grab Leafeon for now. Since we're not really attacking this turn, we can settle with Leafeon. We'll go ahead and get the Reggie Drago here. Just get that down right now. And then we will bench Leafy on. And we can try to spread the energy out. Maybe another Red Drago down. Build it up. We'll see. Here we do. Hmm. So bench. I'm going to greening cells. I'm going to hold on to the uh, quick ball here. I guess I could put the energy on the active, actually. Instead of spreading the energy out. But we don't know what's going to happen yet. We don't know. I don't think we're going to get attacked this turn. But yeah. Gudra should be good. This thing is a little tanky. It's got 200 HP. It's got 290 HP in total right now, which is kind of mental. 290 HP. That's a lot of HP. But thanks to Gudra, we can kind of just like wall. Actually, you know what? I can use Duraludon in this matchup. Oh, yeah. No, wait. I don't even... I told, I think Duraludon actually just goes right through all of the effects on my opponent. Yo, that is so good. Okay. Never mind. We literally just win with Duraludon. Duraludon wins this game. No, we don't even... Uh, Gudra's not bad, obviously. Because what? This thing does, what? 240 damage? It's a lot of damage. 240. 240 minus 80. Yeah. Gudra and Duraludon are both good. Gu Duraludon, I'm pretty sure, just goes right through Waylord. So, I think that's actually just how we win the game. Unfortunately for my opponent, is we just smack him in the face with G-Max Pulverization. Which means I needed a Quick Ball. Maybe I should have went Quick Ball last turn. I was going to save it for Luminion. Because I can go... I can go Luminion, boss, if, I, if it's in the deck. Gust the Waylord out and knock it out with Duraludon Shred Attack. You know? And that seems pretty good. We still have Legacy Star for a rainy day, too, if we really need it. They're not attacking me this turn, either, because they need to set up Snom. Yeah, we'll just we'll just Shred the Waylord here. That seems good. I'm pretty sure that just goes right through it. Gudra's also a good alternative. If they Marnie me, that's a little annoying. They don't Marnie me, thankfully. They do play Serena here. Are they going to gust or draw cards? Let's see what their plan is here. If they gust me, I have Switch. They do gust me. That's all good. I got Switch. So yeah, we can just attach. Quick Ball, Duraludon away. We should have Luminion and Boss in the deck. We do. We can go Luminion. Or Boss. And then we can switch back into Drago. Boss Waylord, Apex Dragon, and Shred. Knock out the Waylord. I don't see how my opponent can stop me then if I can just one-shot the Waylord with Shred. I am out of boss, but once I get Gudra in the discard pile, the turn that I don't kill Waylord, I can copy Rolling Iron so that when they do Waylord me, they do less damage, and then I go Shred. Seems good. So yeah, Shred just kind of destroys my opponent. It's kind of not even fair, to be honest. They could still boss me, I guess, if they have another Gust this turn. Um, but yeah, no, this kind of seems like it's a pretty, pretty straightforward match. I just go shred all the time with Duraludon. Duraludon's pretty good, man. Duraludon's pretty good. This is why I like having Duraludon over Giratina V. Giratina V's got shred, and you know, we got the V-Star in the deck, but Duraludon is just a better Giratina, because I mean, 220 damage shred is insane. And as you can see, it's destroying my opponent right now, because we can literally just one-shot their Waylord. I feel really bad, because like, their, their Waylord deck's all about being very gimmicky, very tanky, and then I'm out here like... Well, I have a way to one-shot you with Shred. It's just not even fair at that point. They do lose another Serena. They're losing quite a few supporters, which is good. So yeah, we want to do Rolling Iron this turn. So we do want to try to draw into... Um, want to try draw try to draw into a uh, Gudra V-Star this turn. It's There is one in the deck. I did see it. So I want to Rolling Iron this Manaphy. 
and then figure out a game plan from there. I, I should have enough steam to win this, though. I guess I got to be a little careful with what I bench, but they're already down two Serenas, so... The reality of them bossing me is very, like, low. I don't know how many gusts they actually play, though. But I can't imagine that it's too much. Like, I don't think they play, like, a million gusting cards. Okay, another Serena. It's not great. Attach. I don't really want to play Training Court, either. I don't want to give them a free Training Court. Kind of helps them. Not worth it. All right, let's just Serena get rid of these two. I need to get... I mean, I have Legacy Star, too, right? If worse comes to worse. Okay. I think we're just going to do Legacy Star now and try to ditch a way to find Gudra here. Okay. We got Gudra in the discard. Let's get it. All right, we going to put back Boss and then probably, like, Balloon, maybe? Kind of like getting a switch back. Switch boss seems good, sure. I don't know. That, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I was thinking... Uh, I was eh, I was kind of considering getting back Training Core, too. Just to have Training Core and play for Greninja. But I think it's fine. Just want to set up another Drago. We need to set up another Reggie Drago, though, after this. And we can just Rolling Iron this turn if I can find it. There it is. Rolling Iron. So that now this Whale Lord is going to only... It's going to do less damage. But I don't I don't want to give him a free Training Court. That's why I'm like... I don't... Like, I could play my Training Court down, but if I give him a free Training Court, that just helps them. They actually promote the Whale Lord. Very interesting play for my opponent here. How are they going to build this thing up? I mean, if they don't attack me this turn, and I get a knockout again with Shredder Rolling Iron, I think we're going to be far enough ahead where I think we should just win the prize trade. You know? I think we're just going to win the prize trade here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't know why they promoted Waylord. They failed level ball, not even for a Frost Moth. Did they prize all their Frost Moths? Oh my god. If they prize all the Frost Moth, I literally, I probably just, there's no way they can win at that point. I mean, they could, but maybe it's not looking likely. No shot they prized all their Moths because they failed the level ball. There's no way. There's no way. Did they? They got Ultra Ball. Either way, though, I don't know why they promoted the Waylord. They're not going to be able to build it up. Even if they do have Frost Moth, they can't build a Waylord anyways because of, um,. Frostmoth only works on the bench, or they do have a Frostmoth. Why don't they play the level ball? Okay, I don't know. That's weird. I mean, yeah, they, they can't moth to their active. Oh, there's Nessa. I guess they could have a switch in hand. I guess they do have a switch. I guess that makes sense, but still. I mean, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter what they promote, I guess. Maybe they're saving Radiant Greninja. I guess they could. I mean, r logically speaking, I guess they could have looped Radiant Greninja, knocked out Luminion and Leafeon, but I don't think. No, Leafeon gets three shot. And I'm probably going to avoid benching Crobat until I absolutely have to bench it. Because I need to avoid benching anything that could get boss KO'd, but also get Greninja'd. But I mean, they're not doing a lot. Even if they have the Waylord this turn, I mean, I just go Shred and just knock them out. Alright, we'll see if they have the attack here. We'll see. They don't have the attack, and then we're chilling. They're, anyways, they're doing minus 80 damage to me anyways. You know, they're not doing... They're not doing a whole lot of damage to me here, thanks to Rolling Iron. Rolling Iron Shred is kind of the, the two-piece combo we have. There's another energy. Do they have a switch here? If they don't have a switch, I mean, they don't have a switch. Okay, that's... I like to see it. It's Moonlight Shuriken here. There we go. I was hoping to find the Fire Energy. And then I could just boss this Waylord now and just knock it out. And they probably can't attack me again. Yeah, let's just knock out the Waylord here. Apex. And then Pulv. Fortunately, I couldn't KO with Rolling Iron. But Pulverization works too. We can just go right through it. it. It doesn't even seem fair, to be honest. It does not seem fair that I can literally just Pulverization through these Waylords. It's just not even fair. See, this is why Regidrago seems good in a nutshell. Like, if we were playing, like, a different... If we were playing Giratina or Gujra right now, it would just be kind of, like, mid, right? Because this thing, you know, Waylord's super bulky. You know, we'd be doing, like, barely any damage. Just be kind of a, a hit fest. I think if as long as they can keep up with the attacks, they probably win the prize trade. But because Reggie Drago can just copy any attack, like if I want to knock something out with Rolling Iron, I can. I have the pulverization option to just go right through Whaler. The whole gimmick is completely shut off by Reggie Drago V Star's attack copying Duraludon. Like it's just kind of mental how good Duraludon is and how good Gudra and Duraludon both are. 
If my opponent doesn't attack me this turn, I'm literally just going to go rolling iron so that if they do attack, they're doing, like, no damage. And then I just go Duraludon and then knock their Wailord out. There's Training Court. I was hoping they would play Training Court down. That's why I was like, they're probably going to play a Training Court down at some point. This does mean they do have the attack this turn, but I'm just going to knock them out here. And it's just like, what can you do? Like, I guess they could go, like, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to build up another Drago anyways this turn. We're going to use this opportunity to get another Drago down. I mean, they can do 240. They can hit me here because I did Pulverization, but they didn't get another Whalmer down. I mean, even if they attack with Grid Ninja and knock me out, like, I don't even think it... I don't even... Like, I think it's I think it's just too late for that even to matter for my opponent anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just ain't looking good for my opponent. Just grab a Fire, Attach, and then we'll just... G-Max Pulverization! I, <laughs> it feels so cheap, bro. It feels so cheap. Just... Uh, just going right through my opponent's whole gimmick. Just, I, I don't know. I feel bad because this is like it just feels so cheap to just go right through their their whole like little like gimmick here of trying to have a really thick waylord in the active with all these ways to give it more HP. And I'm just like, shred, shred. It's just not even fair, bro. It's just not even fair. Um, I don't think they can win anymore. I think we're far enough ahead where we can win as long as I can attack with two more Reggie Dragos. I don't think they can win. I don't even know if they have a way to attack anymore. Well, they still have a whale mare left, I guess. They're down a lot of energy, though. They don't have a Nessa. They don't have a Nessa, Nessa. The game's over. Yeah, they send the well played. I, I don't think they got... I don't think they got it. Yeah, they just scoop it up. I mean, yeah, that that that, that, that felt really cheap because Duraludon is just kind of insane. But uh, that's, that's why Drago's good because you have so many attacks to choose from. Whatever matchup you play against, you can easily counter that matchup. It's kind of nuts. All right, we open up with a very good hand here. This hand is fantastic. Um, I think we're up against Palkia, judging from the purple Palkia coin that I see. All righty then. Good top deck. Yeah, this hand is pretty immaculate. I can't lie. We can go Leafeon, Greninja. We do have a Gudra in the deck, which is good. Yeah, I want to conceal card. I mean, I just draw cards. I don't have the best hand on the planet. It's good, but not great. Uh, we'll belt green cells. We got fires in there, right? Yeah, they're all in there. We'll have to probably legacy star next turn, but I mean, we're sitting on a pretty good hand. I do need to avoid, um, I need to avoid, uh, too many Pokemon. I probably shouldn't have gotten Greninja looking back. I could have probably just gotten Leafeon and call it a day, because if it's Palkia, I don't need to bench too many Pokemon, but it ain't Palkia. I see a Remoraid. It's not Palkia. It might be Urshifu. I don't play Marnie in the deck, but. I do have Flygon, and if it is actually Inteleon or whatever, I just go Flygon, and it's just like, GG's. You know what? I might just Gardenia. I don't know. Well, no, it's Urshifu. All right, we got Flygon. That's our our ace. I think, okay, here's what I'm going to do this turn. We are going to low-key tempt it out through the uh, Gardenia. I'm going to actually set up Dragonite if I can. Could do Legacy Star here. All right, we'll we'll do Legacy Star. It's fine. We'll go Legacy Star this turn. Let's see, what we got. Yeah, I want to go Dragonite. Oof, no dragons got discarded. Shoot. We'll grab Research and Fire, I guess. That was not not a great not a great uh. No, I had Training Court. Oh, I should have grabbed the Evil Incense. Oh, I screwed that up. Oh, I forgot we had the training court in play. I should have gotten Evo Incense. That's my bad. That's fine. We can still hit, like, a Pokemon Search card off this and then go from there. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, that was definitely a misplay for sure. I did not mean to do that. I meant I should have. I screwed up. I lost a lot of Gust, too. Jeez. I lost two. I lost a Boston Serena. There we go. Just wanted Dragonite. Rolling Iron's an option, too, but... Do you want to go Dragonite here? We're going to get Flying on right away. Flying on is like the most important card in this matchup by far. Yeah, I did screw that up though. I what I, yeah, so the whole time what I should have done is I should have I should have went for the uh I should have gotten I could have gotten extra I could have got Evil Wind since I screwed that up. I forgot about the training core being in play, but thankfully it all works out cuz we can just do this with Dragonite knock out the Sobble. And just build up the Red Drag on the bench. And I always have double Flygon set up. And that's like, okay, GG's, you know. Let's see, we got all the prizes. Battle VIP. Good discard fodder. 
I don't know. We'll see. This is still like, maybe my opponent can win. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I guess they could rapid flow both of these. It's still potentially my opponent could set up some crazy play, but if I have Flygon, again, Flygon could carry us. I don't, not having my other Reggie Drago. If I could set up three Reggie Dragos, we'd be big chilling here. Big chilling. That's fine. Even, I mean, yeah, even though I kind of made a misplay there, like, I probably would have just gotten Evil Wind Sense with the, uh, the Drago anyways, and then I could have Evil Wind Sense away, like, Giratina or f probably Gudra. But whatever. Honestly, I don't think it's going to matter too much in the, in the long run, but yeah, it was, it was pointless to get Fire Energy when I already had Training Corn in play. It's fine, though. It's not a big deal. Flygon, does we discard all the energy? Discard three. Okay, so I can stockpile energy on Drago. But yeah, no, I can just go right through this Urshifu. I guess they're going to rapid flow me here. Go 120 and then 150, maybe 180 if they have a sight. Oh, they don't get an energy here. I mean, I should be fine to win. If I can just knock out two Urshifus, I don't know what they can do. I mean, I guess I need to find like a switch or something for next turn too. Or an air balloon. Well, actually, I can't use air balloons. I have a choice belt on. But I need choice belt to one-shot Urshifu. But now I can win by gusting the other Ursh on the bench. So here's what I can do. I'm going to Flygon them here. Oh, perfect. We chew the switch anyways. Let's go. We'll do this. And then... I don't know. I could... I could Serena the Urshifu on the bench and knock it out. I definitely think I just destroy my opponent here. Just knock this out and just try to put on as much pressure as I can. Even if they like Roxanne me, I'm not like super concerned. You know. Yeah, we'll just. I'm fine with doing Flygon. I don't know. Rolling Iron isn't bad either. But. Yeah, we definitely just Flygon them here and just knock them out. Get rid of three energy. And I can always switch to the bench and then just attack the other Drago. Maybe even win the game next turn. We'll see. We got a year off the prizes. We've got Grass Energy, which is good. Crobat is good, too. If we get Marnie to Roxanne, Battle VIP is useless. Okay. Yeah, I can't watch out the Urshi yet, but I could always just go with the Rolling Iron strategy. We'll see. They might be able to kill that Reggie Drake on the bench, though, with another Rapid Flow this turn. Mm, I don't know. Maybe they could. Maybe I should have switched, actually. Looking back, maybe I should have switched. It doesn't matter if I switch or not, though. We'll see. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. This might be tough, actually. All I have to do is do back-to-back -back Flygon, and I win, though. I think... But I have... Okay, if I actually think... As long as I have a Gardini in the deck, I think I just win. I think I have game in hand, right? If I have a Gardini in the deck, I think I win. Because I'll knock out my other Reggie Drago. I can't kill my active with a Choice Belt. Okay, that's fine. So I do just win here. I think. As long as my Gardini is in the deck, I do just have game with Flygon. That's fine. I do have game of Flygon here. I think. We just have to not prize our other Gardenia. And that should be GG's. I mean, we just got to YOLO it and pray. Yep. She's in there. That's game. We just go Gardenia. To the Drago. And we just copy Flygon for game. Pretty easy peasy. I mean, yeah. Where's Flygon at? Where's Flygon at? There it is. Next game. Yeah, I probably could have played that a little bit better. Again, I kind of misplayed with my uh, Legacy Star, but that's kind of how you do it against a VMAX deck. You just try to hit them twice with Flygon and you win. If you can set up a Dragonite in that matchup, in a, in a, if you can set up Dragonite in a VMAX matchup and build up another Red Drago, so you have two of them, and then you use that Drago, you Dragonite it to knock out a VMAX, and then you save the other one for another VMAX. It's like checkmate, basically. All right, we open up with a very interesting hand. Now, it seems good, but I have to basically have Greninja, I think, unless I top deck a supporter, because we open up with our Crobat, which is kind of annoying, but it's all good. We got Switch. This hand has potential to be good. We just have to figure out how to work with it. We're going to need Radiant Greninja here. Oh, it's Mew. And we draw a Drago. All right, Mew is fine. We can beat Mew. Uh, do we have Flygon in the deck? Is Val VIP going to play? We do have Flygon in the deck. Nice. The squad is all here. Play the other Battle VIP real quick. We'll grab Drago again. We don't have our Luminion, which is actually really annoying. That's a pretty big deal. Luminion being prized is actually really bad. But we'll see what Greninja gets me here. Not much. It's not great. 
Unless they're playing Marnie Mew, we're probably going to be stuck here. Hopefully we can draw like a Serena or something, We or a Training Court or an Energy. The hand has potential. We got Gudra. Gudra might be the best early attacker here to make him do less damage, or even copying... Um, yeah, Gudra's fine. We need to set up Flygon. We could try to go Dragonite into a Drago, and then try to... That's not a bad idea either. They may KO my Crobat here with Meloetta. If they do that, though, then I get access to Legacy Star, and I can get Crobat out of the discard pile. So, you know what? Knocking out Crobat doesn't even seem bad. Because, again, we get to Legacy Star for the bad again. See how it goes. I might have to avoid benching Crobat, though. They can go knock out Bad, knock out Leafy, and knock out Drago to win. Could be an annoying line of play. All right, they Quick Ball here for Catcher. Okay, that's fine. They have an insane turn one, unfortunately. I mean, we had a good start. We had a, we had a pretty okay start ourselves. So it balances itself out. At least we both opened up a battle VIP pass, so it wasn't just one-sided. Um, they have four Genesects in play, though, which is insane. They are really gung-hoing here. They just immediately open up with four of their Genesects. I guess they could potentially knock this out with, like, a Catcher or something. If they play Rope, I can give them the other Reggie Drago because I have the other one in my hand, so it works out. I want them to kill Crobat because he gives me an extra out. It makes a Reggie Drago V Star top deck a little bit more playable. Though, honestly, the odds I get a support off Legacy Star are pretty high, but I don't want to let. You never know. You never know with PDCGO. We're just hoping they whiff. If I can knock out this Genesect this turn, that'd be great. I can knock out with Rolling Iron, which would be fantastic. Or even Dragonite, and then I can set up the, the Flygon play. Flygon on Lugia. Pretty good. Oh my god, they whiffed. And thankfully, we top decked Reggie Drago. Now we just gotta get stuff in the discard pile. All right, Legacy Star. Let's see what we got. Okay, I saw a supporter. We can grab Research and Grass Energy, I think. Yeah, it's fine. Well. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I have a better idea. No. Mm, no. I was just thinking. I'm like, oh, you know what we can do? We can knock out the Mew VMAX. We can knock out Mew with Rolling Iron. I can't do that because I don't have the thing in the discard pile. Uh, Do I want to bench the other Drago? There's no reason not to. Okay, research. Here we go. What do we got? We got stuff. Do you want to set up Flygon here? I'm gonna go ahead and do that, I guess. I could get another... Now, I guess I, I could have went Quick Ball for Flygon, Alt Ball for Drago V-Star. So I messed that up. Yeah, I kind of messed that up. That's fine. Let's grab Flygon. Shouldn't matter too much, hopefully. Yeah, I did mess that up, though. I, I should have went Quick Ball and then Ultra Ball. It's all good, though. It's a lot of energy. All right, Apex Dragon for Rolling Iron. We can still find Gardenia. I have a Reggie Drago V-Star prize. We can also get Luminion, which could be good, especially if they boss me this turn. That's a good prize. That's a really good prize. Gardenia is maybe the perfect prize we could have gotten, because I can go knock out with Flygon. Well, they might go Meloetta, but now we're taking 80 less damage right now. They could play, like, a Rope Gust play, though, maybe. I guess if they Rope Gust me here, that could be a bit of an issue. I don't know. They could bench an Oricorio, which means... Mew VMAX has 330 HP. If they bench Oricorio, I can't one-shot with uh, Flygon. I have to find Choice Belt. Ah, uh, we'll see. They well Now we have Flygon in the discard pile. So they know it's in there. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what their play is this turn. But yeah, we should be able to go Gardenia and build up another Drago. But yeah, I could have got another Drago V-Star in play had I just, like, sequenced that turn better. But they could be gusting it, which they do play Serena... They go after my Leafeon. I am totally fine with my Leafeon getting killed. I do not care about Leafeon. No, they are going for the Gust Catcher play, but thankfully they flip Tails. No, they have another one. Oh, they flip Tails again. Okay, good. Whew. Hopefully that's their last one. I think most Mulas just play three Catchers right now. I mean, it's fine if they knock out Leafeon for them too. Like even, you know, I like that they're doing Leafeon for the kill, but I'm also like, they, they're probably okay with killing Leafeon also. You know, they don't mind it. And we can just go, we can just smack them here. With Rolling Iron. Or we can smack him with Flygon and then we just use the other Red Drago to kind of wrap up the game. They didn't mention Oricorio. I guess they had to mention Mew after all. They could knock him with Meloetta. If they knock him with Meloetta, I can just Rolling Iron though. Which would make it a bit easier to win. If they, yeah, if they just go Meloetta, I can just knock him out with Rolling Iron. Which is perfect. We'll see. They've already done Serena. I think they have to do Technoblast, so it doesn't matter. They have to go Technoblast, actually. They have to Technoblast me here. 
Yeah. They gotta go Technoblast. They need a Demod. There we go. Yeah, we should just knock out Mew, Gardini, to the Drago. I do need another V-Star, but I have Concealed Cards. So we can draw four cards plus our top deck, so that's five in total. We can see to try to get another Drago. It's not bad. Not too shabby. I guess in a perfect world, I could go Giratina 2, knock out with a... I could knock him out with Giratina V-Star. I don't think we want to do that, though. It's like, I don't know. It's either we go knock out Flygon, build him another Drago, or we go Rolling Iron. But I think we definitely just go with that route. There's Cram. They flip heads finally. Do they play more Pokemon catchers? Do they play a four? No way they play four catchers. I haven't seen a Mew list play four catchers yet. Well, they did nothing. They grabbed a card, but didn't do anything with it. So I don't know what's going on. Another cram matic They get rid of Battle VIP. They flip tails this time, which is good. How many crams are they down? Just two. All right, two more cards. What do they got? Okay, they can Techno Blast knock me out, and then we go Flygon KO, build up another Drago. Okay, we'll see. If we can build up another Red Drago here. We should be chilling. We need to get another one down because they could gust just a normal Drago, which is the problem. Okay, we'll see. We draw. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. There he is. All right, Gardenia. And we got Belt, so if they went with. If they ended up going with uh, Orcorio, we would have had the knockout. And we got the fire, which is also perfect. I do need a switch. Might the balloon the active here? They could Roxanne me. Maybe that's what they got off Cramomatic, actually, is Roxanne for next turn. All right, we'll go balloon. We'll go belt. We'll go Apex Dragon. Knockout. Luminion off the prizes would be absolutely tasty right now. Perfect. Bottom card's always good too, right? Yeah, more Luminion outs. Okay. Now, they could... Eh, there's a world where they knock out my other Regidrago. If they, they do that, we are in trouble because I don't have another Gardenia. Oh, I do have another Gardenia. Never mind, I lied. I guess I do. Eh, I didn't think I did. I don't have a way to get energy and play, though. So this could be bad, but they sparkle, which is not Pokemon catcher or boss, sorry. And I guess they aren't Roxanne me, which means we keep the hand, which means I have game here. We just retreat into Drago, boss, whatever on the bench, and then just knock it out. Or I can just flag on the Mew again. That would work too. Big Paracel, that's fine. That ain't gonna stop me. We'll see if they get the, the KO here on the active. If they knock out my bench, that is a little problematic. I don't think they have another catcher though. I could be wrong, they could. They could play. They could be playing uh, multiple catchers. Hopefully not. They get rid of a choice spell. That's good. Well, now it's unlikely they knock me out because they put a they put a big parasol on the Mew and not a not a choice spell. They're probably just thinking that I'm stuck. But I got air balloon. There's one tab. All right. There's another tab. Oh gosh. Okay, they may have been close to knocking out my bench Drago. Actually, maybe they do have a catcher. It's still possible for them to win. That's very scary to think about. But yeah, Mew is just kind of a broken card, man. They could win if they have another catcher left, actually. So if they just play one more Pokemon catcher, we could lose the game. Assuming they can reach the damage, but they don't. And I think that's GG's. I don't think they have a knockout here on my active, so we're chilling. Had they played the choice belt, I think they had the KO. Yeah, they should have put the belt on, not the big parasol. Anyways, that's the game. We just go here. And then we just copy Flygon again and take the dub versus Mew VMAX. And that's how you beat Mew. I've thought about putting Drapion in this deck to help against Mew. Because as you can see, Flygon is not a guaranteed win. Because, like, you need to follow Gardenia or you have to Dragonite early on. Because, again, your Drago can easily get KO'd by Mew. So it's definitely a trickier matchup. And I wouldn't mind a Drapion to maybe improve it a little bit more. So it's not as scary. You can go, like, Drapion Flygon for a game. It's a better route to winning. There you have it. That is my Drago V-Star deck. I like this build using the Leafeon and the Battle VIP engine. I'm liking the list quite a bit. Not sure what else I'd really change about it. I am maybe experimenting with the idea of playing a couple Marnie in the deck, maybe even adding a third Gardenia, because Gardenia goes really well with Flygon, and Flygon is what won us the game there against my opponent's Urshifu and Mew deck. So Flygon definitely is very powerful in this deck, and I definitely am liking it. I also thought about adding a big Paracel into the deck. It's something I do want to play. I don't know what to cut, though. Um, the debatable cuttable card is probably the Appleton, 
Uh, but it is nice to have against Mew VMAX, or Mew VMAX, sorry, Lugia VStar. So definitely maybe want to keep that. That'll be for me. Hope you all enjoyed the video here on the Shovel Squad. If you all enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe and check out all the sponsors down below and all that good stuff. I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye. The Shuffle Squad is proudly sponsored by Atlas Collectibles, the best place to buy any trading card game product online. Visit atlastcg.com and at the checkout screen, make sure to use code TSS12 to save an unbeatable 12% off your entire order. Atlas Collectibles will ship your product anywhere in the world, so make sure you're taking advantage of the 12% savings with TSS 12. And if Pokemon is not your thing, don't worry. Go to atlastcg.com and see all the other amazing trading card game products they have there to offer. The Shuffle Squad has partnered with PTCGO Store to provide our community with the best access to Pokemon TCG codes. They have codes available 24 seven, instant email delivery, and you can save 5% off by using code TSS5. If you're a YouTube member or Patreon supporter, you'll have access to a special code that gets you 10% off. So what are you waiting for? Use code TSS5 today and save 5% on your next order of codes on any codes available at ptcgostore.com. Poka X Word, the best place to get your fill of Pokemon inspired puzzles. New puzzles are posted every day and they recently launched a new Guess That Pokemon puzzle, which is a ton of fun to play. Go check them out at pokaxword.com and be sure to follow them on Twitter for your chance to win a ton of PTCGO codes every month. Check out the Late Night Series Season 6, brought to you by myself, Zach Lesage, and the Shovel Squad. We're going to be running a bunch of sick events for the Pokemon community, and they start on August 30th. So one thing you might be noticing here is that there's an EU time and an NA time. We have one at 12 p.m. Eastern, which works out to about 5 p.m. in London. And then we have one at 7 p.m. Eastern, which should help out a lot of players on the West Coast play in this event. That being said, we still have a lot of cool things going on. Expect similar prizing that we've had for other late night series events. Expect better staffing, Except, expect better tournament experiences. And of course, we do have a stream going up for this season as well, and I will be streaming the event on Twitch. That being said, we have the whole season up on the Play Limitless website. Late Night 51 all the way through 70 runs until we hit the, reg the Invitational on November 5th. So check that out, sign up today, and support Zach Lesage Events and the Shuffle Squad. See you there.